Hello guys. Okay, so today we will learn about half adder and full adder, half subtractor and full subtractor. I will show you how to draw half adder and full adder in multisim window. And uh, half subtractor and full subtractor, you have to do it by yourself. And yes, this half adder and full adder, we are going to draw, design the circuit using NAN gate only, universal gate only. Okay. So as you can see here, I have a uh, this is our fifth number experiment and uh, you know the aim of the experiment apparatus component and the theory inside this I think you have learned all these things in your theory classes in half adder we will get output as sum and carry this sum comes at a's or b and carry is a b in full adder same thing but the same input will be there but there will be three bit input here in half adder a two bit in full adder it will be three bit so the sum will come as x or y or c in the third bit and the carry will be x y plus c in into x or y okay you can say x or y or you can say a or b whatever you want to do that's your wish okay so in half subtractor also you will get little bit different output of carry or you can say borrow and uh, this sum and sub sum and difference is same as it is in full adder it is same as in full subtractor also but this borrow will differ here this is carry and here this will be borrow so you have to find all these expressions using kmap first. Using kmap, find all these expressions. Okay, then you will come to the circuit. Okay, so I have used this kmap to finding this uh, sum and carry expressions. The carry is a, b, and sum is a or b. Okay, in full adder, my input, my output should be like this. And using this, I have reduced the expression of carry and sum. Okay, so. This is how you have to do for half subtractor and full subtractor, and then you have to come to the circuit. So when I will come to the circuit, what we will see the half sub adder is a b as input, x or a or b we will get as output, and uh, a b into this will uh, get through through NAND gate, and the carry will come as a b. Okay, as you can see here, the carry is a b, and the sum is a or b. So if we will use DC gates, then we can do like this. We will give two input to XOR gate and we will get the output as sum in case of half header and we will give two input the same input to AND gate and we will get carry as uh, half header carry. Okay. But we do not have to do like this. We have to implement this circuit using NAND gate only. So what we will do first, we will convert XOR gate into NAND gate. So this is the XOR gate. As you can see, this is how we convert XOR to NAND. So this whole circuit will replace this XOR gate, okay? And when AND gate is there, how you will implement AND gate using NAND gate? You will come uh, use two NAND gate in case of one AND gate. Then you will get the output. So first we will implement half header here. As you can see here, this is my multisim window, and uh, I will place some components here. Okay. What component we need first? We need uh, VCC. VCC will be there. We need two input to one VCC. Sorry. Okay. We need one ground first of all. Okay. Ground will be there. Two bit. Then we need NAND gate. NAND gate. Two input NAND gate we need. How many two input NAND gate we need? One, two, three, four, four for sort gate, and then two for AND gate. So total six. Six NAND gate. So one will be here, two will be here, two, two, three will be here, four, four, four will be here. Okay. So this for carry we will implement two. Okay. Okay. So land gate was already there. LED we need LED the output okay or uh, we can use we can use Use this prop to see the flag. 
one LED will be connected to drum and one will be connected to stand. Okay. Then uh, to give input 0 and 1, what you need? We need that to switch. How many switch? At least two switch. For half a you need two switch. Okay, nothing else done. We don't need this VCC. Okay, so this is my circuit first. Now, these are my components. Now we will connect this circuit. What we will do first, we will rotate this one. And uh, we can change here. We will name it as K, and this will be B. Okay. Then what we will do? We will connect this first input of landed with A, and the second input of landed with B. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is my ZOR gate. So first, I will complete the uh, ZOR gate thing. Is uh, what we need. Okay. Now I can do this bit. We don't uh, connect it. We do connect this one. We need to connect this. Okay. And this will be connected directly to A. And this will be directly to B. B is here, and uh, now now we have to connect this one. As you can see in the circuit, we will connect one of this thing here. Okay, and this will be connected to here. Okay, this is my ZOR gate, and this is my sum as output. Okay, this AB as input. Now we have to connect carry. We have to draw circuit for carry. What we will do? Carry needs two input A and B. So same input will be there, A and B. I will clear this one. This will be K and this will be B. And this port will go down to here. Okay. Because this was AND gate. So we have implemented AND gate in form of NAND gate. So we need two NAND gates. That's why we have implemented it. We have connected the output. Okay. So my circuit is completed here for half header. Okay. This is half header. How we will check the output? We will check from the truth table. So this is the truth table of half header. As you can see, at 0, 0 input, my sum will be 0 and carry will be 0. So now I will run this circuit. As you can see, circuit is running, simulation is running, and this input A is on ground, and this B is also on ground. So I am not getting any output, not even in sum, not even in carry. Okay. So now what we will do? We will check 0, 1. On 0, 1, my sum will be 1, carry will be 0. So B will be 1. As you can, you can see, I have changed B to 1. Then this output is 1, and this is 0. 
Now for both A and B one, you can see sum will be zero and carry will be one. So this is how I have implemented half adder using NAND gate. Okay, so we'll stop the simulation here and uh, we'll write some text here. This is uh, as a sum. Control Q, Control V, copy and place, enter, and edit this one as C. So sum and carry. Okay. Now we have to implement full adder using this half adder only. How we will do that? How we will do that? Okay. So as you can see here, I have implemented this. This is our full adder. Zor gate, Zor gate will get input as AB only, and the sum will come as A Zor B Zor C. You can see here A Zor B Zor C or X Zor Y Zor C, whatever you want to do. Okay, so this will be our sum, and the carry will be AB plus C in into A Zor B. So this carry is like that only. Okay. Now I have converted this circuit. In form of half adder, means this door and this AND gate will be one half adder. Okay, this is one half adder. This door and this AND gate will be another half adder, and this is OR gate. We will use this as normal OR gate. Okay. So I have converted this into form of half adder. Okay. Okay. So you have to convert this OR gate in form of NAND gate only. Okay. We will do. Do this in the circuit. First of all, what we will do? We will use one half adder. We have implemented already one half adder here. We will remove this one uh, first. Uh, remove this connection right now and keep it here. And here we will use this afterwards. Okay. So as you can see here, uh, this sum output, sum output will go into another half adder input. Okay. What we will do? I have. I will just copy this one. And I will place it here. And, uh, here. Okay. Let me just draw the image like this. Okay. So this is my half adder. What we will do? This input, this input, will come from this. 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 Okay. This is one my input, and this input. You can see here. This will come directly from C, which is C in. So, yeah. Okay. So we need third switch for that. So we will again go for component, and again we need this switch. Okay. We need third switch for that. Okay. And uh, we will name it as C. Okay. We will connect this circuit with same. And this will, okay, you can see here. This will be the input of second half adder. This C, this C will be the input of second half adder. You can see here. I have connected this C as the input of second half adder. Control copy and write it here as C in. Write it here as C in. Okay, make it full. Okay, remove this one. So this is S. This is C. This S, as you can see, this S goes into input one of the input of half adder. This S goes into one of the input of half adder. This C, which is C in coming from another switch, goes as another input of second half adder. Okay. Now what we need, we have to do this C. Since this C output will go into OR gate. Okay. And this C output will go into OR gate. Okay. First. 
make one or get. How you will make or get using NAND gate only. Using NAND gate to input NAND gate only, I have to implement or get. So how many to input NAND gate we need to implement or get? We need at least three. We need three NAND gate to implement one or get. So one input will come here. you can see this is the one of the input this carry of second adder is the input of or get carry of first adder is also the input of or get okay and uh, you can take one space here take one space here and three here okay so this is my full ladder is my full adder. This is one half adder, this is second half adder, and this is the circuit for carry. Okay. Fine. And this is how we will provide the input. And uh, for checking the output, we need this connection. As you can see, I have to connect this one LED to second LED will be connected here. Sum is here and the out is here. Right now, my input I can make it all as 0, 0, 0. All are in 0 position A, B, C. We will verify the output with truth table. We will see the truth table. Okay. At 0, 0, 0, you can see sum is 0 and carry is 0. So we will check. Okay. So this is my two LED. So we will check. So you can see. Both are on zero only. So my circuit till now my circuit is correct. Okay. Now I will check. I will keep C in as one. Then we will see sum as one and carry will be zero. What we will do? C in. This is my C in. Leave as one. You can see the sum is one and this carry is zero. Okay. Now we will see at here this input zero one one. My carry will be one. B is one and A is zero. Then what I will get? Sum will be 0, carry will be 1. C is already 1, B will be 1, and A is 0. Then you can see sum as 0, and this carry as 1. This. Now I will verify this last one. 1, 1, 1. Okay. Let this 1, this is 1, this is 1. Okay. All three inputs are on 1. You can see my sum will be 1, and carry will be also 1. So this is how we implement half adder and full adder. So you have to do this same thing with half subtracted and full subtracted, and you have to deduce this k-map everything in your lab report and then you have to observe the output and compare the output using these truth table okay so please complete it properly write your name here on this circuit okay fine thank you that's all for today